Welcome back to another commentary with Noble Mage. It's been a while since my last commentary. You know, lots of things happening. The holidays, lots of work. I got sick, etc., etc., etc. But don't worry, I'm not disappearing from YouTube anytime soon. And I will keep doing my best to bring you some quality content. Talking about content, today's tip of the day, it wasn't quite like a tip of the day, it was more like a mini montage on firecrackers or something, <laughs> right? Okay, so yeah, I'm being kind of impressed with the use of firecrackers and I think it's a really good ability and most people don't even use it, so yeah, you probably gotta expect a lot of videos in the future with me using that. Okay, so one thing I want to do before anything else is give some shoutouts to the Lone Wolf Project for my new YouTube background. I am also using it for Twitter. And yeah, I want to give him some really big thanks because he did an awesome job and I really liked it. Okay, so as you probably realized during my last game, I got an Xbox. So, well, and also this game is also on Xbox. <laughs> and... Now I'm a player on all platforms. So yeah, people feel free to add me. Uh, especially on Xbox and PC, my friends list is pretty much empty. And I'm probably gonna be adding almost anyone that adds me. At least now. Of course, uh, I want you to know, well, pretty much like the mechanics of my friends list. This is also true for PlayStation. I add pretty much anyone, at least at this point. I'm, I'm adding almost anyone. But uh, I have like eight spaces that I keep uh, you know reusing them like I probably delete you later <laughs> if I add you uh, and if I do delete you later it's for not nothing personal you know it's just that I just want to give the same opportunity of playing uh, with other people you know so yeah <laughs> just that's pretty much it okay one thing I uh, want to talk about now that I joined the Xbox is that I've been kind of surprised with something I don't know if it's just me or I don't know I just had bad luck or something but is Xbox like crowded with haters or something because I don't know you guys but uh, for me on PS3 it took me like an entire year or over a year to get my first hate mail but on, on Xbox, it was like, during my first day, I got like three hate mails, and I was like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I wasn't <laughs> expecting Xbox to be an exception, I wasn't expecting Xbox to be a, a hater free, but yeah, I wasn't really expecting three hate mails on the first day either. At least I can say I found some good people too, people, you know, worth the time, worth uh, talking with. In fact, this particular game, uh, my target right now, uh, Saccharin, is, is a friend I have on Xbox. And there's also another friend of us. Well, <laughs> there she died. Uh, there's also another friend of us uh, here is BNR91. And they're decent players, you know? They're people you can talk with. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I just said to myself, let's just focus on the positive things, on the on the good people, right? And let's just... No, don't mind the haters, <laughs> if possible, right? Okay, so that's when it comes to Xbox. As for players on the PC side, one thing that kind of makes me play less on, on the PC platform is that there is a, like a lot of matchmaking problems. Plus, everything arrives late, champion packs, DLCs, etc. And yeah, honestly, I think that Ubisoft hates PC players for some reason. Okay, as for the, the you know, the, the latest DLC, the Battle Hardened pack, which includes this map and some characters, the, yeah, the three characters, the Coyote Man, the Scottish guy, who I don't even know the name, and the Governor. I like what all three characters, they're pretty good in my opinion, pretty good design. My favorite is the Coyote Man. But yeah, they're like the design, it's overall really good. And as for the maps themselves, I find them really awesome i mean like for free for all modes especially for that match the all of them are have a really good design particularly this map saint pierre i think it has like the best death match area i have seen in quite a while because there's like these bamboos everywhere and they act like walls it's 
it it requires some skill actually locating your target and if if you handle your yourself properly you can get a lot of corner stuns and others oh yeah talking about corner stuns <laughs> yeah I, I don't know what happened there <laughs> i think i was mashing a square on for some reason oh that's a low blow you're gonna always beat me oh but wait yeah you're gonna get intercepted <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah, saccharine uh, OSBs and I think BNR too. Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't really judge them though, because yeah, well, <laughs> they have to do what they have to do. I don't like OSBing, so I don't do it myself. But you know, some other people do it. Sometimes you just gotta tolerate it, and they don't really overdo it. They just like do it. Sometimes they do other stuff other than OSBing because. I assure you, there's people in this game that yeah, I, I without smoke bomb, they wouldn't even be able to play the game. But whatever. Okay, uh, talking again about the DLC, uh, I haven't played enough of the other modes. I have played mostly free for all modes, but I think that, that uh, for team modes, they might be also really good. But I, I just haven't tried them that much. But I will probably be coming with some of some games on the new maps some team games on the new maps on the future and one problem that these maps do have is that it's incredibly hard to find a match on them I mean like sometimes I just gotta join some of my friends and it takes qu quite a while uh, just to find a match sometimes you get put into a mode that you don't wanna play and yes that sucks but nonetheless uh, I already got the season pass, I already got the DLC, so might as well use it, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what I was saying about corner stuns. You see, like, uh, a corner stun from such a far away distance like that is probably not even possible in other maps because of the way the map is laid out, but here it's kinda easy. Uh, I still got killed later, but whatever, you know, still got a stun, huh? Okay, 3 minutes and 3 seconds on the clock. Saccharin's my target. And I... G oh, yeah. Uh, you have been probably hearing voices in the background, and it's because I'm in a party in my Xbox. Uh, well, I was back then when I recorded this. And... <laughs> punching faces using decoy, always fun. But, yeah, so sometimes you might hear some voices, uh, you know, lower... Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Sakharin can't just believe she just killed me using decoy. <laughs> but yeah, people, decoy works. I know it's not usual for you, but it works. <laughs> you just gotta give it a try. Especially in this particular map, it's just way more awesome than usual. And there goes the smoke bomb. Talking about smoke bomb, there have been like... Not recently, but quite a while ago, there have been a lot of threads in the Ubisoft forums of people complaining about smoke bomb. Yeah, I'm not, the, I'm not even gonna go over all the thing. So I'm just gonna say like, well, to keep it short, because enough has already been said about smoke bomb, and even there was a thread proposing uh, changes from the Ubisoft developers to a smoke bomb in order to balance it. Which, by the way, but was rejected by the community, but whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say, my quick opinion on smoke bomb is, it's balanced. Well, that's what I think, you know? Uh, I use it, and I use it. Probably you don't see me usually using it on, on the matches I upload, because I usually try to upload, you know, fancy stuff. <laughs> interesting stuff, stuff that you don't see every day. And let's face it, I guess... You guys are all tired of just seeing smoke bomb here, smoke bomb there. And yeah, like, even though I could just use a smoke bomb, eh, I don't feel happy with myself. I like styling. <laughs> it's, that's like what makes me play this game, because I can style. Okay, so the match is about to end. There's a little less than a minute. Well, 50 seconds. 50 seconds on the clock, and... I want you to enjoy this moment to its fullest, so I'm gonna shut up.
30 seconds remaining. You do not ask me how did I do that. Because oh, I even I don't know. <laughs> how you like that, huh? Almost 11,000 points. You have finished first. <laughs> okay guys, uh, that's, that was just my style moment of the day. I really hope that you enjoyed that particular anime hack and especially the part where... Well, the two parts. The first one was when I randomly chose the, the red code in the group and hacked her. And when I killed my other pursuer, the governor, while running. <laughs> that, that was insane. Uh, what can I say? Even I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, people, I hope you enjoyed. As <laughs> usual, if you if you if you want more, subscribe. If you like, hit the like button and I will see you next time.